Okay. So, uh, our new headmaster, and the big secret is he got married. Um, I found out here. I contacted people uh, back in LA, and like, oh yeah, we heard. Uh, someone put it on their Facebook page, and they weren't supposed to. That's it. There we go. Can you bring those here? Facing it this way, please. Uh, this is a style he's created. Each headmaster adds to, adds to our curriculum. And this style is called Hanakanade. His father, the fourth headmaster, Satsuki, created a style called Hanamai. I mean, you may have seen it. It's material that comes together and it either goes in the same direction, it goes in the opposite direction, or they sort of merge. Um, and this one, it's about the beauty of moving, of cr uh, crossing lines. And so this is Torch Ginger. And they just came out with these containers that have the Kinzons in the right place. And one thing they've done is the container comes in a little bit, so that when you're using heavy material, many times it'll start flipping over. So if you put a little stub underneath it, famous last words, it will hold it from tipping over. Let me. No, oh, that's right. Okay. Now, half of the stress fun of doing this is picking material. So I'm going to let you choose at least one of these materials. Okay. So I have a beautiful lily, or I have a heliconia, or I have a delphinium. Okay, how many for the delphinium? How many for the lily? How many for the heliconia? Okay, okay, if it doesn't turn out, it's on you. <laughs> huh. Cut that again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Rosalita, this was from you. So was the lily. Okay. And so we're just trying to show beautiful movement, creating a three-dimensional space. And this style is actually in transition. It came out maybe mm, five years ago, six years ago, and little by little, they're making changes. And that's true of most new styles. You need to try something and then get feedback from people. And so one of the differences, because people say, oh, it looks exactly like Hanamai. And Hana Kanade, uh, it's kind of funny because when you ask them initially, when we were at headquarters, and I asked, well, what does, it, what does Hanakana Day mean? Um, they were reluctant to say for some reason. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if it was the characters that were just unusually put together. Um, 
I study tea ceremony, and I teach tea ceremony, Uda Senke, and I know words that are used in the tea ceremony or phrases are unique to the tea ceremony. So if you were to show someone and say, what does that mean, which I did, um, the woman said, well, this character means this, and this other character means that, but I've never seen them used together. And so I figured that Hanakana de may have been the same. And my understanding now is it comes from offering of flowers. And so, uh, where Hanamai meant dancing flowers, this is offering flowers. Or it could also mean having to do with music and echoing of, of the sounds of one instrument and another. Okay. And then at the very last minute, someone said, oh, no one used these gloriosa lilies. Would you like them? Thank you. Yes, please. And like, like I said, it shows the whole aspect of friendship through flowers. It's not a competition. Yes, you do want your, your arrangements to look as best as they can, but you also want everyone else's arrangement to look good. You want to feel like everyone uh, is having a great time and feels welcomed. And don't worry, I'm watching the clock. <laughs> I figured if I didn't have a clock, I would hear the rumbling of stomachs. So that would be OK, too. And since no one picked the delphinium, I think I will add a little purple at the base, just a little bit. Okay, and there we have a Hanamai arrangement. <laughs>